Please pause to take a look at this disclaimer. Hello guys, Messenger of Death here and we are back once again with some more Digimon Story Cybersleeve Hard Blind playthrough. So, I did a bit of an oopsie. I literally uh, went through the game a little bit and forgot to hit record. So I had to start again and go through everything again. Um, so, yeah, that's fun. Uh, I didn't get that far before realising I was going to pause so I could get grind on getting data so I could get some new Digimon. And then I was just like, you know, I'm going to pause the recording so I don't have to go through like 20, 30 minutes of footage. Um, yeah, didn't go according to plan because I realised I wasn't recording. So, yeah, I'd start the game again from the beginning, because I saved partially through doing it, and yeah, that's great. <laughs> so, I had to go through all that again, which is fun. Uh, but yeah, I am basically, unless I encounter something new that I haven't encountered yet, I'm just going to skip to when I have the data for them, because... I just want to basically uh, get some new Digimon so I actually have a chance because I'm getting my butt kicked by everything under the sun, you know? Um, so, yay! I'll be back. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, guys. We have some data for some Digimon. Um, so, I guess we will see. We'll get what we get. So... I also noticed that you can go over 100% on some of these. I don't know what the significance is for going over 100%. I also noticed that some Digimon are actually gaining data faster than others. I think maybe getting to 200% may be better. But we will see. There's got to be a purpose to it, right? Um, training 1... Okay, uh, so they're not 200% yet, but we do have um, X to party. Okay, that works. So, And I can send it to Digibank by using X as well. Okay, useful. Um, there's a good start to if I plant damage to one fell. What can you turn into, I wonder? I can't Digivolve you yet. The lowest level I can Digivolve is level 14. Um, as for you, level 3, level 5. Okay, noted. Um, right, so depending on what form it is, obviously it takes less levels to, uh, to Digivolve, it seems. Noted. So we do have two Digimon now, it should make my time a little bit easier. Um, if we can get three, that would be even better. Um, I am really going for a Kuramon or a Sunamon. I've got Sunamon to 100%, but I'm not going to 200% yet. Kuramon isn't 200% yet. If I can get both of those to 200%, I will be a very happy boy. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back once I actually eventually manage to do that, and then we can maybe get some Digivolutions going. Um, when this thing levels to level 3, obviously I'll run it back, Digivolve it, get it on screen and everything, so you're not going to miss out. Yeah, I'm hoping to get some decent Digimon here. Okay, we got our Pagumon to level 3. So, we'll go and Digivolve it. And see what options we have. Um, I think it's all Multimon. Which can become Tentamon and everything. But we will see. Okay, right. Pabumon. Okay, so I have a choice. I either go with a flying Digimon or a non-flying Digimon. Uh, well, Tentamon, I guess, technically could be flying. Um, we will go with you, I guess. Pagamon, Digivolve 2. Hello. Yokomon, how do you do? Saltport, a magic attack, 30 water damage to one foul. SS, innocent eyes, increases accuracy and evasion by 1%. Do you have an SS? Everybody has an SS. Okay. 
Increased damage by from electric skills by 15%. So that explains why when I put him on auto, he always goes for that. Despite being a little bit weaker. Okay. So, obviously, you could digivolve into Beelmon. But it looks like Elecmon, Mushroommon. Wormmon? Or Kunamon? I reckon that's Wormmon. Okay, interesting, interesting. So I could get a Leomon. Which would be pretty cool. I could go for Woodmon or something, or Birdramon. Hmm, interesting. Um, I don't know what this cam thing means, or what the personalities do. Brainy and Nimble. Uh, brainy, I'm guessing, means smart, so maybe that's like something to do with Int. And... Nimble... I guess that means quick, good evasion. Maybe. Could be right, could be wrong. Um, I don't know how much it affects. Is it, I don't know if it has a bonus to stats or something for you. Be like how um, natures work in, say, uh, Pokemon games. Could be it. But. Um, I can't wait till I get a third Digimon because, uh, yeah, that'd be great. I wouldn't mind getting some other Digimon going as well. Like, if I get me a Poyomon 200% as well, that'd be great. Because I'm assuming it's going to be very useful to have backup Digimon at some point. Especially me being on hard mode. I probably need to go out my way for it. And the encounter rate is really low. Like, you have to run around for quite a bit. Um... Why are you getting two attacks each? That's insane. Um, get rid of you. Immediately gone. Right, Pabumon. Soap flower. Oh, I forgot. I turned off animations in there because I was just trying to rush through the game. Uh, so, I noticed in the options menu, there was... Um, let me bring up the setting in a second. Level 2 already. Boom. Um, in the options menu, there's the option for battle cutscenes, short and normal. Normal is what I originally had it on, which shells the move. Short removes it. It's a bit like how you can do the same with Pokemon as well. Um, like You could actually turn off move animations, which is very nice. I kind of like that. Um, Okay, cute. Um, ow. But it, it basically allows me to grind faster. Obviously, when I'm on, when I'm actually playing on recording, and people are watching me, obviously I want to have the move animations on, of course, because you know, that's more to the video. But when I'm just in the grind zone. Just those extra seconds that it would save me and stuff. It just goes a long way. Especially for getting a recording out. 200% um, for the Poyomon. Nice. Ow. Um, the cute thing is, I could just leave it on auto. And they'll just do the work for me. Um, the only issue is, I have to take it off auto... Sometimes, because I have to heal, or if I want to guarantee that I hit. Because the nano machine break that Hagurumon has 95% accuracy, and sometimes it misses. And uh, it almost led to me having a game over. Um, I ended up having like 2 HP, I was not happy about it. Um, but yeah, we can now turn Poyomon into something, um, which would definitely be great. I do really uh, enjoy this so far, the battles and the way they work, the animations for them. It's nice. It's definitely nice. Um, I'm definitely enjoying it. I, the animations on them are so cute. Okay. Did you convert? Koromon's at 150, 125 for you, Pabamon 120. I'm tempted to see what happens if I do it 100%, but I think I'm just going to go 200% and guarantee whatever bonus it gives me. It could mean bonus stats or something, and I don't want to miss out on that on hard mode. Boyo, man! Boyo, boyo! 
Super Bubble Blow. Magic Attack. 35 water damage to one foe. Innocent Eyes. Same thing as the other one. Okay. Um, Poyomon. Bukamon and Tokamon. Okay, obviously. Um, level 3 for that or level 5 for that? I think I'll go for level 5, honestly. Um, that'll probably be a wise decision. And we'll, uh, do I need to heal up? I oh, know, it's quite expensive. 200 bits to do it. I don't get that much from these fights. And if you are, I'm just kind of bankrupting myself. I usually get a healing item at the end of a fight, and now I have three Digimon. I'll be able to kill things much faster now. So I don't feel like it's really worth it spending the 200 bits to heal yet. So I can start getting a bit more money from these fights, and my Digimon aren't getting wrecked so much. Um, but yeah, I am looking forward to basically getting a strong team. I'll be back once I basically have one, I feel like. Or once I have enough data to convert some more Digimon, I guess, or Digivolution. I think that'd probably be a good idea. But I do want to see what Poyamon's move animation looks like. AoE move? Whoa. Yo, these Cinnamon... Mess me up. Oh. <laughs> oh look at the little cute dance they do. At the end of the fight. It's adorable. I, I, I am really enjoying it. The character and the flair they have. Like, look at them. It's nice. It's nice. Okay well my Poyomon end up uh, fainting during a fight. Um... And, yeah. It turns out that your Digimon stays on zero HP. Apparently putting them in here gives me one HP back. So, it's a way of getting a free heal because I already revived them once by doing this. And it cost me 400 because he fainted. Which is, uh, you know, fun. Um, so, I basically have to do a workaround right now. How many of these have I got? Ten. Like, I am struggling for money right now, so that's basically what I've got to do. I have enough to convert now. Nearly. Um, we're at 175 for you, 150 for you, 180 for you. Uh, but, yeah, this is uh, pretty wild because, like, they're just going down. I don't really have a way of reviving them either, um, other than spending money. Which I don't have. And Poyamon has died twice in a row in two different fights. Because they focused him. So. <laughs> this is uh, pretty crazy. They don't mess around on hard mode. Like hard mode is right off the bat. Straight away I am struggling with some of these. Uh, you saw how my Hagurumon was getting messed up. I've got three Digimon now. I'm like, oh yeah, it's going to be much easier. But the problem is, while they're still in baby and in training form, they just get destroyed. Okay, good. See what I mean? So all they have to do is go for a second attack and he dies. Bruh, I destroy you though because you're fire and you're weak to water, which is great. So, yeah, I just have to make sure I heal them. Uh, so he actually stands a chance, this Poyomon. Because right now they are just getting absolutely demolished. And uh, they died twice. They just got focused. So, as long as they only get hit once, that'd be great. 135. Okay, so I count you one more time, and I have you, which is great. I have my uh, Koromon, which is great. But I do need um, the Sunamon to be at the percentage I need. I suppose we will go turn Sunamon into uh, 
That's what I want. Coraman into a... Uh, did you want to come with me? I want to find out about something. Um, so... By the lots of things, there is a party system. So these three will be up. If they're in the back, are they in the fight or are they not? And this will be a good way to actually find all that information so I know for the future. And do they get experience if they're not in combat? That's also something I would like to know. Uh, did you convert a Coromon and Pabamon? Let's go. Convert Coromon. Hey, let's go. Very good, very good. Bubbles! Um, and we'll convert you to... Very good. Okay. And you're almost there, just not quite yet. So, Party Digimon, 9 out of 20 memory. And these are only at 4, 3, 2. So, I can have the others on me, right? I can, in the back. Okay, right. I want to check when Yokomon digivolves. Level 7, level 8, level 8, level 8. So, it depends what I want to go with. I'm going to go with Velikmon, because I wouldn't mind getting me a Leomon. Like, I'm not going to lie, that'd be pretty sick if I get me a Leomon. Um, I could turn you into you, but I'm going to wait till you're level 5 so I can get me a Tokomon. Um, Agumon. I've never had an Agumon, so why is it like that? Unless it's because they were helping me in that fight with uh, Akino. Nokia, whatever her name is. Okay, Shoutmon. Hackmon. I forget what the hell you're called. Uh, but there's like a blue and green variant here, I think. Uh, Toy Agumon. Gilmon. And Agumon, 10% required. Noted. Okay. So it has an effect on what digiforms you can reach. Right, hang on. Do I need cam for you? No, I don't. I have the stats. Do I need cam for you? No, I don't. Right, but how does cam work? How do I get cam? Um... You have 28%, you have 11%. So, is this going up each time I fight? Because I notice it's slowly getting higher. Is it based on how much I level up? Or each time I fight? Do they need to be in the front of the party to get cam? I guess I will need to find this out. And we'll find out right now. I'm going to do a fight and I'm going to see what happens. We're on 28%. Okay, we now have 200% for you, so... Oh. Come on, <laughs> poor Poyomon, bro. Okay. Right. Twenty nine percent, twelve percent. Okay. So each time I fight, oh, you re revive with one HP. Okay, so you don't stay dead, right? Did you get any cam? No, but you did get experience. So I need you to be up there if I want you to get cam so I can achieve certain digivolutions. And if I want to go Agumon, I guess that's what I kind of need to do. So, we'll have Poyomon in the back since they keep dying. You as well, because you're both babies, essentially. So, I guess having you in the back would be better. And I'll go get Sunamon, I guess. And I'll be back only during Digivolutions, basically. Okay, we're about to convert Sumo Sunomon. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Welcome. We'll see what Digivolution you have. Um, Gabumon. Psychmon? Gaburimon. I always forget what the hell you're called. Vimon, I think. And Monodramon. I think that's your, that's your name, Monodramon. 
Well, I always forget what the hell you're called. Okay, interesting. Don't need come for you or anything? Okay. Right. I suppose, uh, I want to find out what this is. If I know that's Gabumon, is that Psychmon? It'd be interesting to know. I might want to actually, you know, throw them in my party. Might be a good idea. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be back. Okay, we can finally digivolve somebody. Okay. I need one more level for you, which is fair enough. But Poyamon can now become Tokomon. Poya Poyamon! Tokomon, let's go. Pabamon can digivolve, and I guess since we already have the others, uh, Yokomon, I guess this time we'll go with Multimon. Very good. Right. Sunomon. I need you to be level 6. To Digivolve. Okay. Motimon. Uh, he can become Hagurumon. Uh, Gopsumon. Uh, guessing that's Tentamon? And the hell are you? You're Hagurumon. I don't know what you are. There's a different variant? I guess? Okay. Cool, cool. Um, but yeah. For you, I don't know who I'm going to become. Mike, I don't have the amount of ABI to become you. I need 10% for you, 10% for you. Uh, Gilmon, I guess, would probably be my first Digivolution. Being the easiest to obtain. You need Cam as well. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Um... Okay, we have enough to get another Digivolution, which is great. We will finally have our second Rookie Digimon. Which I'm looking forward to. I like the way Koromon just <laughs> opens his mouth wide every single time he moves. Um, okay, Yokomon can now Digivolve, and we will turn into Elecmon. Let's go! Very good. Hello, hello. Come on. Very nice. Increases damage from electric skills by 15%. Metal Empire. Nice. Thunder Cloud, 30 damage to one foe. Two magic attacks. And you have Crescent Leaf as well. Not bad, not bad. So... What are you? Is that Garurumon? It's a bit of a weird portrait for a Garurumon, but... Okay. Um, Leo Mo? No, Garurumon. Huh? There's two Garurumon. Wait, Black Garurumon maybe? Normal Garurumon. Maybe is I could be right. Numamon. Sukumon, Nanimon, you, you must be Leomon. Level 16, level 15, okay, fair enough. Uh, what level do you do to evolve? Level 7, but 10% cam required to become Patamon. Um, Hawkmon? Don't know what you are. Um, I don't know. Lucimon? Don't know what the hell you are. That's just a big old nope. Um, okay. Well, I suppose if I want to go for a Patamon, I need you up front. With my group. Probably, yeah. Um. Because apparently you don't get any cam if they're not with you. Um, in your group. How do you... Oh, that's cute. Cute way it moves around. Um. But yeah, we'll be back once we get another Digivolution. 
Okay, guys, we got some more Digivolutions. Coromon can now Digivolve. I could either become Geomon, this thing. Can't become that. Can't become Agamon to level 9, but if I want to go into a rookie now, I think in this instance, I'll go with Geomon. Why not? We'll get a Geomon for the time being. I don't know what ABI means. I know I have some ABI. Um, ABI 6. Okay. So your ABI went up 1, it seems. And now I don't have the memory to bring everybody. Right. Well, before we throw people out... Um, sure, we'll find out whatever you are, I guess. Um, Solomon. Prevent sleep, full functionality. Okay, uh, don't know what you become. Uh, Gardramon, same thing as my other one. Numamon of some kind, Golemon, Rockmon, whatever the hell it's called. Starmon and Meramon? Question mark? I don't know. Dogmon! You have enough cam now, but I can't do because you're not enough level. Elokmon needs to be level 16 for Leomon. Level 12 for you. Level 12 for you. Noted. Uh, Sunamon can now digivolve. We will find out what you are. Yes, please. And you are Psychmon? Black Gabamon? Yes, okay. If I can get Omnimon Zwart in this flipping game, you guarantee I'm getting me an Omnimon Zwart in this flipping game. Um, I'm sorry, Tokemon, for now. I'm putting you on the back burner. I'm sorry, my friend. Um, we have some rookies. So we have Geoman with Rock Breaker. Increase attack, defense, int, and speed by 5%. All rounder. Nice. Okay. 10% um, chance of stunning target when attacking. Menace. Nice. Little horn. Comet Hammer. Okay. And obviously we have our boy Hagurumon. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Um, I guess. Oh no, maybe I might store Elekmon for now, and that way I can level up Tokemon into rookie form at least. Maybe that might be a good idea, perhaps. Um, and we'll convert some Digimon. We can get Pabumon now, again. Which means we can potentially find out what your third form is when I can be bothered. Okay. And Poyomon. Again. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, fun. Kuromon's at 100%. Alright, I want to check something. 6-6. Six, six. Zero. So my main dude has no ABI. No, I started off with six, six, five. Okay, so I'm guessing when you digivolve, your ABI goes up. It's only about one. So you, are you are you saying that I'd have to digivolve ninety five times? Hmm. Okay. I don't know. What I do know is, I do want to get Tokemon up, and then I guess we'll get on with some story after that. Okay, we're going to Digivolve Tokemon into Patamon. And then we will get on with some stories. I feel like this has been way too long uh, since I actually did something. Because it's just been grinding non-stop. I'm happy we finally got some rookies though, that's for sure. Okay, air shot. Increased damage by light skills. Uh, increased damage from light skills by 15%, just this genome. There's air shot, 50 wind damage, 10% chance of increasing speed, and you have heavy strike. Okay, right. 
We can actually bring you with us, but uh, we'll see what you can turn into real quick. Um, don't know what the hell you are. You look weird. Anjumon? I'm guessing Gatelmon. Okay, 25% cam. Uh, Bergemon, definitely. Unimon. And... I have no idea. Cool. Okay. Well, there is one issue that I see. We don't have a single vaccine at the moment. Uh, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, means I may have to put somebody away. I think we should be okay. I'm going to make a save. Uh, just in case we get a game over. I think we should be okay. As long as we're not running into like a triple vaccine thing. I think I should be okay for the most part. I have the data for backup to deal with the vaccine. So it's not a complete loss. Um, again, I could have brought Elokmon along. For the Leomon. Okay, so whatever this thing does, I don't know, but I've been using increase in count. I can't do that anymore. I was using increase in counters, but I guess because I put, I put so many people back in the bank, I now can't do it. Okay, so that, that came in handy. Anyway, we'll do whatever this is. Um, hey, we have enough to get another current month. Scan data of new Digimon will be collected and Digimon will be registered to the field guide of your Digivice. Okay. At the Digilab, you can digiconvert and browse detailed data by making friends with a Digimon through Digivolution and D-Digivolution. Right. Okay, so... Rock Breaker! Yeah, very nice. Little Horn! Oh yeah, this thing's been popping up. Whatever the hell this is. I guess my skills can link together, which makes them more powerful? Question mark. Um, I don't know what determines it, mind you, but maybe it's a certain Digimon are compatible with other Digimon. I don't know. I also don't get the turn order because sometimes I've seen Digimon go twice in a row, and other times it's just not. Like, uh, how does it function and determine who goes when? You know. Got avatar part. Okay, so that's part of my body, I guess. That I was missing. Okay. Um. There's the one over here. Sunamon. Ooh, very nice. Comet Hammer! Haha! -ha! Your own skill against you, Bruh, I, I love I love the little dance some of these Digimon do when they win the fight. It's great. It adds so much character and personality to them. Okay. Whoa. Digimon all have types and attributes, each with their own affinity. The Digimon side is shown in a mark in the upper left part of the stats, and its attribute is displayed by colour. Okay. Join target selection, good affinity is shown with a red target ring, and bad affinity with a blue target ring. Consider affinities when choosing who to attack. There are four types, virus, vaccine, data, and free. Good affinity, data. This, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so I already know about the, the triangle effect of data, vaccine, and virus. No relation, so it was free typing, yep. Attacks from a type with good affinity inflict double damage. Nice. While attacks from a type with a bad affinity only inflict half damage. Noted. That'd be why I was taking so much damage from Mr. Um, Sunamon when, with my Hagurumon. Because the electric is weak to earth. Right, okay. So fire versus grass or plant. Obvious, yep. Yeah. Water, uh, plant versus water. And water versus fire. Okay. Understand that, that's from fire, in my opinion. Uh, Pokemon, I mean. Um, like, I know that type matchup, so it's going to be easy to remember. 
Electric versus wind, so I can consider wind as flying type. But wind being strong against earth is a different matter. Trying to remember that. Because I did not even know wind was strong against earth. Um, in Digimon. Earth is strong against electric, so ground versus electric. Yeah, I can memorize that. Light and dark are both effective against each other. And uh, neutral is just neutral. Okay. Right, so. Unfortunately, we are all weak to you. But we are strong against you. Got some on. Ooh, 137. Yeah, that was nice. Um... Little horn. Cog Crusher. Okay. It lived. I should have gone for the electric me, but I don't want to risk missing with the 95 accuracy because I'm worried about dying. Um. Hmm. Okay, so that's how change works. Okay, right. So, I'm going to take you down first of all right and then I guess we will change Gilmon for Patamon um oh we have somebody who is actually strong against them um Okay, 0 0.75. So I'm guessing that's because of electric being strong against wind, despite uh, it being a vaccine. Okay, noted. I get it. Right. Uh, neutral, neutral. Earth, uh, Earth would be pointless to use because it's strong against it because it being wind. Okay, and air shot. 50 damage or physical attack for 70. Um, I don't know what how your stats are. I didn't pay attention. You know what? You have a higher int. So maybe going for air shot may be better. Okay, nice. So it's basically boom bubble. <laughs> that, uh, you see during uh, the anime. Okay, very nice. So there's my second avatar part. Hell yeah. So yeah, I'm glad I have a data with me to take care of vaccines if we struggle. Um, I kind of want to throw you back up though. Gilmon. Actually, I don't know. We'll get some cam for Patamon, I guess, because we got a lot on you two. I could change the Gurumon out for a bit. He's got a lot of cam. Yeah, we'll go with this. I don't know. Hagurumon just seems to be my weakest member right now. He doesn't seem to be doing all that much damage, really, in a lot of cases. So, it may just be better to go with the others for now. Unfortunately, as much as I'm sad to say that, but with it being my starter, he just doesn't seem to be putting out as much as I would like him to. Um, okay. I want that body move that Thingy used. Like, Thingy had an AoE. Hang on one minute. Field Guide. Comet Hammer. So, when we encounter you, you have a third move that you use, which has an AoE effect. But I don't have access to that. On mine. That's a bit unfair, isn't it? Can Gilmon learn it, maybe? Is that why? Okay. I don't I think those are like higher forms is further up. Um Gilmon. Rock Breaker. Walken Napalm and Attack Charge is what you learn. What do you learn? Ripping Net, Heaven's Thunder. Um Noted. What do you get? Anti-panic. Okay. What do you get? Holy light, shining laser. Okay. I've no idea what any of these moves do, mind you. 
But I wouldn't mind having an AOE skill. That would be very useful. I guess I'll just figure out how to get one eventually. Ow. Okay. Allies and enemies can summon from a normal statuses in battle. Abnormal statuses have unique effects such as draining HP of return or altering stats. All abnormal statuses are undone at the end of battle. Good. Okay. Heals after enough turns pass. Confused. Cannot be controlled. Attacks enemies and allies at random. Okay, great. Paralyzed. Cannot move for a set period of time. Okay. Sleep. Cannot move. Yep. Storm. Reduces speed and puts the Digimon lower in the timeline action order. Okay. Poison. Loses HP at the end of each turn. Amount lost increases over time. Yep. Dot. Changes into Sprite. Becomes unable to use skills. Is that like that effect that kept happening to me in Digimon World 1 where I kept turning into that weird sprite thing? Bug. Doesn't heal naturally. Bug reverses type affinity. Okay. Stat changes such as increased attack or lower defense continue for 5 turns after activation. Activating the same stat change during this period will reset the turn count to 5 turns and stat the effect. Okay, right. Noted. Is there a limit to how much it can stack, though? That's what I'd like to know. Okay, got another avatar part. Very good. Uh... Okay, there are items here this time. Uh, for the most part, I seem to be able to just leave the game on auto and they'll go for the best move that's available to them. Which I kind of like to a degree. Grand Rock. Magic attack, 50 or 5, earth damage to one foe. Are you imp based then? No, you're attack based. Okay. Right, okay. Hmm. Okay, right. Cross combos and cam. A cross, combo, a cross combo can occur when two of my allies line up on the timeline. Cross digit attack. Combo. Cross combos power up attacks and skill effects with the help of allied Digimon. Cross combo effects are split into the following four types. Attack increases number of hits. Damage up increases damage. So when you're using the skill, you get damage up. Attack increases the amount of times it hits. Okay. Uh, recovery skill increases the amount recovered. Stat changing skill increases the amount of change. Okay. Cross combo occurrence rates are displayed on the timeline. The bigger the gauge number, the higher the rate. Occurrence rate low, occurrence rate high. Ah, so it's a that's what the combo meter does. Okay. Cam 12%. This gauge fills as you attack, and Digimon with higher camaraderie will have a higher occurrence rate. Oh, cause, ah, so that's what it is. Okay. Gotcha. Um, well, again, I'll just leave it on auto and let it just do it for me. It's save me time. Um, it's a bit of a hands-off approach, I guess. I probably won't be able to do that for most of the game. It's probably just at the start that like, I can kind of take advantage. And I guess at some point, like, I'll have to actually be a lot more strategic. Now that I've got three rockets, the game isn't as bad for me anymore. I seem to be not having too much of a problem. Uh, especially now that Hagurumon is an up player. He seems to be really weak right now. Um, maybe it's something to do with that ABI thing? Hmm. You at least look normal again. It's not a perfect solution, but it's a big step. The objective has been met. Come back to the agency. What's that? You don't know how to get back. Hmm. Try looking out like you always do. Since you went in through an agency terminal, my guess is you should come out through one. But to be honest, in your case, I don't know what will happen until we try. In the worst case, if your data gets scattered throughout the network, I'll salvage as much as I can. Hehe. <laughs> I'm joking, sort of. Our guard's only still broken. Guess whatever I ratted was temporary. 
Oh, okay. So I have to run all the way back. Fair enough. Fair enough. It means getting more data for more Digimon, so I don't mind, really. Like, this is my kind of thing. I don't mind fighting the move animations. It actually gives my brain something, some form of, uh, you know, entertainment while I'm grinding. I like this. Um... This is much better than the gym equipment thing already. Because I don't really get anything out of watching my Digimon run up to a gym equipment and run back 50 million times. That just bored the hell out of me. This, though, I can, I can dig it. Like, sure, the grinding has been pretty slow early, but... I feel like I've made progress, so I feel rewarded for my work, and I'm liking it. I don't feel like I'm being slapped in the face or punished for my hard work, you know? Um, how much have we got? We got some money now. I probably should get some of these. Wait, always oh, coming handy. I got loads of lead, not need to worry. Save some money for now. Well, heal as well. Uh, we have new Digimon we can scan. I forgot we got the Coromon data. So we will get us a new Coromon. Very nice. Builder. Okay. And there's Pabumon. Defender. Okay, very nice. Um, so, what level do you Digivolve? 15. I'm guessing you are Garurum on black by that portrait. Uh, Vegemon or Red Vegemon. I don't know which one. Frigimon, definitely. Raremon? I don't know what the hell you are. You look so weird. On that portrait. Gilmon. Growlmon, I'm guessing. Greymon. Greymon again. Geo Greymon? Tyranimon. Maramon? Human Spirit of Flame. Ah, oh, don't tell me they've added the bloody Digimon from that bloody terrible series where the, the humans become Digimon. Like, I didn't mind uh, Tamers where they fuse at the end and you get like Gallantmon and all that. That was fair enough, but the other buddy terrible show where it's just literally nothing but the same Digivolution. The whole entire bloody series doing the same exact crap against the exact same enemy 50 flipping times. I hated that. It was absolutely atrocious. Um, what a terrible series that was. And they've added them into the game. Into this game. I... Okay. The only thing I like out of that, I guess, would be Susanomon. For the most part. <laughs> you made it back in one piece, didn't you? I wouldn't have expected anything different. Still, our abilities border on the unreal. Maybe the reason you still adhere to physical laws has to do with an instinctual fear present in all physical organisms. <laughs> This is truly fascinating. Pardon me, Kyo-chan. There you go again, sneaking up on me, old man. Oops, I'm sorry. I did it again. And could you stop calling me Kyo-chan? It's embarrassing. That was a childhood nickname. Not going to happen, my dear. You'll always be Kyo-chan to me. No matter how old you get or how brilliant of a detective you become. <laughs> How long have you been there? What have you heard? I just got here. Is something wrong? Oh my, you have a client. Sorry, sorry. Were you going over a case? No, this is, well, a client of sorts, so of a somewhat unconventional nature. Oh, just who are you then? That's a secret. <laughs> hmm. Like I said, no one in particular, not yet. Let me introduce you. This is Detective Matayoshi. 
He's an old friend from when my father ran the agency and I trust him completely. He's the most elite detective of forces on cybercrime. Looks so deceiving. You were thinking, well, I suppose I don't exactly fit the mode. But if I did, I'd never be able to tag along with this shadier element. Oops, a slip of the tongue. <laughs> so is there something afoot? If it's the case, sit on the sofa and wait a bit. I'll just whip up some tasty coffee. No, thank you. There's no case today, no need for coffee. I heard a rumour about Eden Syndrome. I thought you might be interested, Kyo-chan. Let's hear it then. Hmm. Uh -huh. No need to worry about my assistant, old man. This is someone with a rather special connection with Eden. My assistant has the potential to become something of a specialist in the field. Let's hear what you have to say. I see. If you can vouch for your assistant, that's fine. The rumour concerns a special ward in hospital where they're isolating the Eden Syndrome patients. Oh, do I need to explain what Eden Syndrome is to your future specialist? Please do. It's a rare condition where Eden users suddenly lose consciousness and are unable to wake up. We see more and more patients with each year, but the cause, symptoms and treatment remain a mystery. There's a special ward at Central Hospital for Eden patients. Treatment and a search for the cure are underway, but information there is kept heavily restricted and there are facilities even relatives can't enter. The rumour is that they are concealing facts to help protect Kamishiro's image. Sorry, I need a drink. I'm getting a drive throw. This remains firmly in rumour territory for now. Lately, there have been ha happenings behind the scenes at Central Hospital. Behind the scenes? Meaning Kamishiro Enterprises, right? Yes, the hospital is under Kamishiro's control. The same Kamishiro who runs the Eden Network. Okay. The number of patients is increasing when symptoms are getting worse. Now of all times is when Kamishiro needs to come clean not remain silent. An alarming number of people have been admitted to the hospital in question and security in the special ward has allegedly been beefed up. This means something is afoot. It was going to happen eventually. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Think I'll put some coffee on after all. We can toast the agency's success. Oh, look at the time. I better get back to the station. Sorry, but let's save the toast for another time. See you later. He is quick to get out of there when, he, when she mentions coffee. Why? I'd watch out for a coffee, especially the colour and the solid chunks floating it. Bruh! What? <laughs> I don't like coffee in real life. Um, I really don't. There's only one brand I can somewhat tolerate. I don't like coffee. I fear the day is coming when I'll be forced to actually taste her coffee. That day won't be pretty. Bruh, he's getting out of there. He's dipping. He's running, bruh. He's out. He's out. He legged it. Quick time. It was as he said. Fresh info on Eden Syndrome is hard to come by. Kamishiro's behind the scenes re restrictions are doing their job. And security will only get ramped up all the more from here on out. There's something very strange happening in Eden. Then you show up in your weird body and at the same time Kamishiro's apparently on the move. Is that all merely a coincidence? No. It has to be all connected. The rationale is plain as day. No leaps in logic necessary. I'm heading to Central Hospital. I need to get as much info as I can before security is stepped up. I'd be thrilled if you came with me. <coughs> Honor me. You might be able to get some info on your current state. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be. No, in your case, let's go with open sesame. <laughs> okay. I don't get that, but okay. Sure. Okay. Hospital. Joy. Well, what to do? It turns out leads to then start off with a frontal attack. Let's try different direct negotiations to get us into the hospital's special ward. A frontal attack? That seems a bit sketchy. Hehe, <laughs> you're a pretty sharp one. But preconceived notions can sometimes lead to unintended consequences. Don't ask for details. They say that ignorance is bliss after all. I'll give you instructions later until then gather info inside the hospital. Asking questions is the most fundamental cornerstone in detective work. I wasn't joking when I said you could become a specialist in the field, my dear prospective assistant. Become a GP and record my activities in the chart or become a boy with shiny red cheeks. It's really a lot of fun. <laughs> um, okay. I don't get the analogy or reference they were trying to make there.
Okay, another person of importance, I guess? They don't look very happy. Did they lose somebody? Yeah, they, they look pretty mad. And we're just having a big stare contest right now, I guess. Okay. Let's battle! Pokemon, go! <laughs> it's like, what the hell's going on? We're just staring at each other, why? <sighs> Hello, what are you looking at? Hey girl, have we met? H hey girl, have we met? <laughs> I guess. That didn't provoke a response at all, just completely blanks me. Okay. No. Just walks off. Okay, cool. Does she have a pair of goggles around her wrist? I don't know. Okay, we're now in control. I am going to call the episode here, though. We've done quite a bit. I've grinded for quite a long time. As you can see, the timer has definitely flown by. Um, I've grinded a lot. We now have three, well, multiple rookies, actually, because we've got some in storage. Things are interesting. It's a lot of information to try and divulge and get our head around, though. A little bit overwhelming to a degree, and there is a lot of dialogue, which I kind of like. It breaks things up a bit, uh, and I'm interested to see what they do with it. If you have enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.